Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Lord, there is none like unto you. Thank you, Jesus. There is none to take your place. Praise the name of the Lord. Worthy are you, Lord, and worthy to be thanks and praise, to be worship and to be adored. Hallelujah. A pleasant good night to all viewers who have logged in, whether you are on Facebook Live tonight, whether you are on the Zoom link, which the majority is on Zoom link tonight. We want to welcome you tonight to another session of our Bible studies. We are the New Creation Ministries tonight, and we are coming to you live this evening with another session of our Bible studies. Amen. I'm your host, Reverend Michelle Sandros, and with me tonight, my God is our overseer, Bishop and Reverend Carl Sandros. This evening, we want to invite you to bow your hearts with us in a word of prayer before we begin this evening's session. Awesome. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you, Father, we thank you for your saving grace. Yes, we Lord. thank you for your tender mercy. Oh, we thank you for your loving kindness tonight. Oh, we thank Lord. you, oh God, for life. We thank, thank you for you, health and strength. We thank you for your mighty working power, oh yes, God, Lord. Yes, Lord. that is evident in our lives tonight. Hallelujah. Father, we are grateful, my Mighty Father, for your provisions, yes, Mighty Father, Thank that has been Jesus. set before us, Mighty Father, oh, day hallelujah. after day, oh yes, God. Lord, yes, Father, Lord. this evening, in the mighty name of in Jesus, name of each Jesus. and every one that have logged oh, into this hallelujah. evening's program, Mighty Father, Father Lord, to study to show themselves approved unto you, Mighty yes, Lord, Father. Yes, Lord. Lord, you've said that, Lord, in your words, that a workman needed not be ashamed, yes, but Lord. to rightly divide the word of truth. Father, this oh, evening, in the mighty hallelujah. name of Jesus, release the power of your anointing uh, upon each and yes, every Lord. saint hallelujah. in the house this evening. Uh. Yes, Lord. Father, yes, we Lord. pray that you will touch them afresh, O oh God, from the crown of their head unto the soles of their feet. Open yes, the Lord. eyes of yes, their Lord. understanding. We pray that your Holy Ghost, mighty Father, will bring clarity, revelation, and Powerful understanding, God. mighty Father, into your scriptures, O oh, oh, Father, hallelujah. which is the perfect law of liberty yes, Lord, even yes, as Lord. you would look into the perfect law of liberty tonight mighty yes, father that great value will be added to them this oh, evening, hallelujah. Father, father, so that they price. in return mighty father will share the good news of your coming oh, kingdom oh, thank father, you, jesus. father you be glorified tonight in jesus be mighty glorified. name we pray and in everybody jesus say pray. Amen. amen 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 so tonight, believers, my God, we want to remind you, my God, it is Bible studies tonight. And we would hope and we would expect that you would, my God, participate in the form, my God, ensure just as you would, uh, um, as you would be in house tonight, you would ensure that you have your Bibles with you. You would ensure that you have your notepads with you to um, ensure that you take copious notes tonight. Now, tonight, as you know, we are studying Bible prophecy. Now, Bible prophecy calls for you. And this is just a reminder tonight for you to have an open mind tonight. Amen. It means, my God, that you would sit, my God, and with, I should say, the power and the revelation that the Holy Ghost will give to you tonight. Praise the name of the, Lord. the Lord. My God, you all have an open spirit tonight. Amen. Amen. So you want to encourage you. We always encourage people to write tonight. We always encourage people to follow along in scriptures because when you follow along in scriptures, it stays in your spirit tonight. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Tonight, my God, we want to encourage you again. If there's a, a question, there will be a, more, a period in time, my, my God, at the end of the session where you are free to ask your questions in relation to what is being studied tonight. So tonight, again, we want to welcome each and every one of you tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Tonight, Praise I would the like Lord. to hand over to our Bishop, Reverend Carl Sandros. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Pastor Michelle. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me again welcome each of you as pastor michelle would have already um did the opening you know but um tonight let me again welcome each of you that are with us tonight tonight is indeed a wonderful privilege that we have that we can come by here and study the word of god you know the scripture teaches that we ought to study to show ourselves approved amen, unto god amen, amen. a workman needed not to be ashamed but yes. to rightly divide the words of truth to rightly divide Praise the name of the Lord, the word of Amen. truth. And there is so much in scripture that we need to be able to understand. And yes. even the very topic we are um, looking at, at Revelation, but there are some things, there are some deep things in Revelation that we really need 
to um, understand. And as Pastor Mitchell said, that one has to have an open mind. You know, yes. without an open mind, um, there will be no room for understanding. Praise the Lord. Amen. So one has to be open in mind, you know, um, so that um, that understanding will come. However, we have a responsibility to make sure that um, we strive as much as is possible to, um, to, to, to educate you from the Word of God. So it means we have a duty to explain. We have a duty to go through the references in the scriptures and make sure that you understand, you know, what we are saying to you. Yes. And um, so this is what we will um, be doing on tonight. Praise the name of the Lord as we study the word of God together. So I want you, praise the name of the Lord, to um, put on your seat belts, you know, as we um, as we journey or or, 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 or lunch out, um, you know, into that. I'm, I'm sailing on, on today. Praise the name of the Lord. We know that our God is in control. Amen. Um, praise the name of the Lord. At this point in time, I would like to hand you back to Pastor Michel, who will um, uh, who will take us into the studies on tonight. Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. And I want to encourage you, if you have um, children that are of age, to set my God before the computer, because um, children from the ages of pre-kindergarten, um, they are on and they are logged into online schools. For those that are still um, involved in online schools, my God, I want to encourage you, my God, that you involve the children in Bible studies as well. Amen. Um, it is important that they understand the Word of God, understand what they believe in tonight. My God, you have a duty to teach them tonight. Praise, Praise the, the name Lord. of the Lord. Amen. So this evening, we would like to get into our studies. And our studies, our topic tonight, my God, it is... Daniel's 70th week and the tribulation. Daniel's 70th week and the tribulation. Praise the Lord. It's important to take note of that tonight. You know, um, Daniel's Daniel's 70th week yes. and the tribulation. So praise the name of the Lord. So as we go through the book of Revelation, we know that um, the present time that we are living in, we are very close, and I'm saying close, Anytime um, the church can be taken away from this place. Yes. And uh, there are some events that will take place just after the church is being taken out of this place. But there is a, um, there is a school of, of thought or, or teaching, right, that is being called Daniel's 70th week. Mm -hmm. Daniel's 70th week. And um, a lot of um, believers uh, may have heard of it but may not have had the understanding of what Daniel's 70th week is all about. Um, and But Daniel's 70th week um, also takes you to the end of those um, weeks, which we will explain, to the end of those weeks, and to the end of those weeks in Daniel's 70th week, it marks, and I say close to the end, it marks, um, it marks the time of tribulation. So this is the reason for um, um, the, the, the topic, it's Daniel's 70th week and the tribulation. Daniel's 70th week and the tribulation. Praise the Lord. So we want to go into this study so that you can have an understanding of Daniel's 70th week and you might also be able to teach someone or help someone who need to understand because there is a lot of persons that are in church but um, in terms of these subjects, you know, their ministers, their pastors have not really ventured. And um, I don't blame the pastors. I don't blame the ministers because um, it, it is astrology. And astrology, I should say, Morris, is another level of teaching in the Bible. Praise the Lord. So we want to go into um, to, um, our astrology. And I will ask Pastor Michel to take us there as we launch into Daniel 70th week. And the tribulation. So we want to look tonight at the vision of the 70 weeks. The vision of the 70 weeks. And our key scripture that we'll be looking at is Daniel chapter 9, verses 24 to 27. Praise the Lord. So praise the name of the Lord. So we are looking at the vision of the 70 week. The vision of the 70 week. So we need to understand where this Daniel 70 weeks come from. 
right? So look, as Pastor Michelle asked you, to look in Daniel chapter 9. Praise the name of the Lord. We hope that you have your Bibles because we are in Bible studies. Remember, all of we are streaming live on Facebook. We must, I want you to um, treat your Bible studies as though you are in the house. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. We are in the house. We are in this Zoom room here. Um, most of you are in the Zoom room. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are studying the word of God. So let us treat pray our studies just as we will treat our studies when we are in the house. Amen. Amen. So make sure that you have your, your Bibles with you. And we are looking at Daniel chapter 9. And Pastor Michel told you from... Verses 24 to 27. Verses 24 to 27. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible reads there in Daniel chapter 9, verses 24 to 27. 70, praise the name of the Lord, and I hope that you are with me. 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression, to make an end of sin, and to make conciliation for iniquity we see three things here for sorry for and make sorry reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy verses 25 now therefore no sorry no therefore and understand that for the going forth of, or from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the prince shall be seven weeks and three scores and two weeks. The street shall be built again and the wall even the, even the terriblest times Troublous. or the troublous time. Verses 26, and after three scores and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself and the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the ablation to cease and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolation praise the lord or, or the desolate praise the name of the lord bless the lord so praise the name of the lord pastor michelle so i'm going to read tonight we want you to summarize what is being said you can take copious notes tonight as we go along we would be expounding on the scriptures tonight amen the expression 70 weeks and this is important for you to write tonight the expression 70 weeks literally means 70 sevens praise the lord so the expression 70 weeks it literally means 70 sevens of years praise the lord so now it's important that you take note of that it is so important because this will be necessary yes um for you to ha to, to have noted as we go through um this study of daniel's 70th week praise the name of the lord pastor michel said that the expression 70 weeks and this is where um this is where studying the word of god and understanding the hebrew and that sort of thing um is necessary um the expression 70 or 70 weeks it literally means 77 of years Yes. 77 of years so you are seeing weeks there which mean or which is being interpreted yes so as we go along we will want to amplify that we will want to um go to um, um studying that or rightly dividing it and we can only do that as we study together and go through the references praise the lord so take note again the expression 70th weeks 
literally means 77 of years. 77 of years. 77 of years, which when you calculate that, it will work out to something to about 490 90 years. 490 years. But we will want to go through and explain that as we go along. Pastor Michelle. If days were meant, it would be so expressed as in Daniel chapter 10 and verses 3. Could you turn the Bibles with us to Daniel chapter 10 and verses 3? Praise the name of the Lord. If this here were meant, it will be so expressed as in um, Daniel chapter 10 and verses 3. Because when days are being um, expressed, um, um, it's being expressed um, as being expressed in Daniel chapter 10 and verses 3. If you look at Daniel chapter 10 and verses 3, could you turn your Bibles there with us? Praise the name of the Lord. Daniel chapter 10 and verses 3. Praise the name of the Lord. We will see Daniel is saying here, I ate no pleasant bread. I ate no pleasant bread. Neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth. Neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks. Till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Amen. Till three whole weeks were fulfilled. So Daniel here would have been speaking about weeks here. And uh, praise the name of the Lord. And, and being and speaking about weeks here, praise the name of the Lord. Um, it would have been it would have been literal weeks. Praise the Lord. Yes. Pastor Michel, praise the Lord. Daniel's prayer to which this vision was an answer did not concern days but years. We can look at Daniel chapter 9 and verses 2. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Daniel chapter 9 verses 2. Yes. Praise the Lord. So Daniel chapter 9 verses 2. Now, Pastor Michel said something there. And Pastor Michel, I paused a bit. You know, um, I paused a, a bit, praise the name of the Lord, because that is so instrumental, instrumental. It is so um, profound. You know, the Bible, um, what, what, what was said there, it is that Daniel prayer to which the vision of itself was an answer, to which the vision of itself was an answer. It did not concern days, but yes. And Pastor Michelle would have asked you to turn with her to Daniel chapter Nine. Nine, chapter 9 and verses 2. So look at Daniel 9 and verses 2. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. If you look, we are reading Daniel chapter 9 and verses 2. In the first year of his reign. In the first year of his reign. So yes. you see, it is speaking to years and not weeks. Amen. Amen. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books, books yes. the number of years and not weeks. Amen. The number of years and not weeks. So when you look at that word there in the Hebrew weeks, you will see that it's been translated years. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are reading that again. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he will accomplish 70 years in the desolations of, of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Yes. So Daniel here, praise the name of the Lord, and the Bible interprets itself. Yes. Sometimes you may see the word weak, and when you go in and you look up or you study the reference of week, you're seeing years. It may confuse you. Amen. Yes. But the Bible, it interprets itself. Praise the name of the Lord. You will see even in parables. When Jesus speaks parables, if you continue to read along the line, you will get the interpretation of the parables. Amen. Yes, amen. So Daniel is saying here again. Let us look at uh, again. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years, whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he will accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. Praise amen, the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord, Pastor Michel. Then too, we know from scripture that the last 
that the last week in Daniel chapter 9, 27 is divided into two parts of three and one half, three and one half years each. So you can look at Daniel chapter 9 and verses 27. So it's important, praise the name of the Lord, for I to reiterate what Pastor Michel said, praise the name of the Lord, so that you will not miss it. Praise the name of the Lord. Pastor Michel said, then too, we know that scripture, we know from scripture that the last week, which is in 927, Daniel 927, yes. it is divided into three parts, two parts, or two parts, sorry, of three and one half years each. Three parts, sorry, two parts is divided into two parts of three and one half years each. Now, I, I want you to understand what is being said there. What Pastor Michel is saying here, it is we know that from Scripture that the last week of the, the last week or the last years of that 490 years, which we will discuss a little more, of that 490 years, um, that speak that Daniel speaks to in relation to Daniel's seventieth week. Praise the name of the Lord. Pastor Michel said there that the last of those years is divided. And I'm taking my time for those of you who are writing. Amen. Is divided into two parts of three and one half years each yeah. so we want to we want to rightly divide that we want to see yes. where that is where that fit in in scripture we want to see if what is being said if we can justify that if we can clarify that in scripture praise the name of the lord so praise the name of the lord so pastor michelle could you give us so our first scripture we want, we want to look at daniel chapter 9 and verses 27 reference so, to that praise the lord so we first want to look at daniel chapter praise the name of the lord nine. daniel chapter 9 and verses 27 so look at daniel chapter 9 and verses 27 praise the name of the lord remember we are studying so you want to make sure that you're in your bibles so we hope that you're in your bibles with us right now praise the name of the lord so look with us in daniel praise the name of the lord we know that you're in the zoom room for those of you that are on facebook most of the folks are in the zoom room praise the name of the lord we thank god for that praise the name of the lord so Praise the name of the Lord. For those of you who are following with us on Facebook, we bless the Lord for you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Invite your friends, invite your loved ones to join us in studies. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we are looking at Daniel chapter 9 and verses 27, which um, uh, which speak about um, the last um, weeks um, of, 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 of Daniel's 70th week. Praise the name of the Lord. And I'm reading from uh, verses 27 of Daniel chapter 9. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abomination, he shall make it desolate even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate Amen. so this is speaking about what is going to happen during the time of tribulation amen yes and that is um, why pastor michel would have mentioned the last week of daniel's 70th week amen amen because those last week will be the last week, my God, that will determine, praise the name of the Lord, that will determine, hallelujah, the fulfillment of God's plan, praise the name of the Lord, for men here on this earth, praise the name of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. So um, we want to kind of, we want to elaborate, we want to rightly divide that a bit, praise the name of the Lord. So just Bless to Lord. clarify a bit, we are looking at the last seven years of that 490 years. Amen. So that is what we are doing, we are looking at, we, are, we want to rightly divide it, right? So we are looking at the last seven years of that 490 years. So Daniel chapter 7 and verses 25. So look at Daniel chapter 7 and verses um, 25. Daniel 7 and verses 25. 
Daniel 7 and verses 25. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are reading from Daniel chapter 7 and verses um, 25. And Daniel 7 and verses 25, the Bible reads there, And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And we know who we are talking about there. Yes. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And think to change times. And I want you to look at that. Yes. And think to change times and laws. Yes. And they shall be given and they shall be given unto his hand until, and they shall be given into his hands until a time, and I want you to, I want, I want you to take note of that. They shall be given into his hands until a time, and times, and dividing of times. Yes. Now, I want you to note, praise the name of the Lord. You may be wondering who are they. Praise the name of the Lord. They there are not, although you are seeing the word saints here. Praise the name of the Lord. If, look, look at it again. Um, uh, it shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Mm -hmm. The saints of the Most High. That is not the church. Praise the name of the Lord. No. The church would have been taken out of here. We the church. And this is the reason why we ought to make sure and we have a duty even as uh, even as the servants of God, we have a duty to make sure that you are prepared and ready to be taken out of this place. Amen. Because uh, those who will be given, those who the, the, the Antichrist here that is being spoken of, those who he will wear out, he will wear them out. And those who will be given into his hands, it is not the church but it is, and those who also is being called the saints there, they are Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Israel, not the church. We the church, we the, the, the church, praise the name of the Lord, we will be taken out of here. Praise the name of the Lord. But remember, Israel is still in slumber. Israel is still in slumber. She is still sleeping because she never accepted the Messiah, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So she, my God, is in slumber until such time. And God is going to do a thing to bring about something. Amen. But somebody, God has given us this opportunity so that we can make sure that it's right with him. So that we can make sure that we are ready. So that we will leave this place. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So it's important for those that are taking notes to take note of time and times. Praise the Lord. And I, I want to pray, Pastor Michel, I want to also, uh, we, we need to also explain that time and times and half a time. Now, I want you, praise the name of the Lord. For those of you who are writing, praise the name of the Lord. You will see times there. Come on, I want you to look at that. Times and times and dividing of times. Times there, praise the name of the Lord. It speaks about two years Sorry, time there, praise the name of the Lord. It's time there, you see, time and time, sorry, time there, it speaks about one year, and I want you to take note of that. And times, T I M E S, it speaks to two years. So that is one and two is three. three. Yeah. And dividing of times, it speaks about dividing of one year, which is a half of a year. Yes. So praise the name of the Lord. So that tribulation period that is referred to here, it speaks about a three years there. Three and a half, three and a half years, sorry. However, you will see Daniel 70 weeks, or you will see the tribulation period will be for, you, for seven years, but it is also divided into two. It is divided into the first three and a half years and the second three and a half years, amen? Yes. Which in theology, the first three and a half years will represent the wrath of the Antichrist, which we are referring to here now, and the second three, half and, uh, uh, three and a half years, it will represent the wrath of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. So in all its seven years, and I will hope you're, you're taking note, praise the name of the Lord, it is a total of seven years, the first three and a half 
the first three and a half is, is, is a tot it's a total of seven years divided into two. And the seven years divided into two, it is the first three and a half years and the second three and a half years. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are discussing Daniel's 70th week. Praise the name of the Lord. We are looking here at the first three and a half years. Amen. Pastor Mitchell, you want to take us a little deeper? We want to look at Daniel chapter 12 and verse 7. So look at Daniel chapter 12 and verse 7. Praise the name of the Lord. So you're you seeing that um, that um, um, dividing into two parts of three and one half years. We are seeing that here again in, um, in, in, in Daniel chapter 12 and verse 7. Look at Daniel chapter 12 and verse 7. Praise the name of the Lord. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 7. You have it, you have your Bibles. I hope that you are in your Bibles. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are looking again at Daniel chapter 12 and verse 7. And the Bible reads there, and I heard the man clothed in linen. And then in the same, and I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river. When he held up his right hand, and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth for ever, that it shall be for how long? Look at it in your Bibles. It shall be for how long? It shall be for a time, for times and a an half. Yes. Time, times and a half. I don't need to explain that again. You know, times represent one year. Time represent one year. Times represent two years, which is one and two is three, and the half of a time it represents. Pray if you study it in the Hebrew, it represents half of a year. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. And Daniel goes on to say, and when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, and the holy people there, the holy people, all these things shall be finished. All these things shall be finished. This holy people there is not the church. The church we the righteous of God will have already left in the rapture with Christ and my God and observing what is happening down here. Amen. Getting ready to come back with Christ to fight the battle of Amagadan. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So we will not be here, hallelujah, but we will be with Christ Hallelujah. Getting ready. Observing what is happening. Observing what is happening. My God. I'm enjoying the, the feast of the Lamb. Enjoying the feast of the Lamb where we will be banqueting with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Where we will be feasting on, on delicacies that like we have never feast on in, 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 in this life. We will be in the presence of the Lord, enjoying, hallelujah, our mansions. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Walking on the streets of gold. My God, aborting in, the, in my God, in, in, in the walls of pearls. Yes. Hallelujah. My God, looking up and beholding the pearly gates. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord. And most important, the beauty of our God. Pastor and you know, um, what Bishop failed to mention, most importantly as well, being rewarded for our labor. Oh, hallelujah. Praise this the Lord. That's why we emphasize, you know, every time, at every church service, only what you do for God will last. Only the labors that are provided for God and towards his kingdom, the promotion of his kingdom, my God, all that you would have given, whether it be in substance or or in physical strength, you will be highly compensated because this is part of our contractual agreement, Bishop. Amen, my God, amen, under amen. The new terms and conditions. Amen, so amen. my God, that it so should be enough to motivate you, my God, to be to go beyond, my God. And I think is what motivates our Bishop to um, tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because the Lord has promised us that all our labors will not be in vain tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. And he encouraged us tonight, Bishop, to lay our treasures up tonight where mutt and rust 
cannot corrupt cannot tonight. Corrupt. Where Amen. thieves cannot break through cannot break and, through steal and steal tonight. Amen. My God, the treasures that you will acquire in this lifetime, it is necessary oh, to be able to go through. My God, in this world system, it is necessary, my God, for you to trade with. Oh, Praise yes. the name oh, yes. of the Lord. Oh, yes. I love but that my word. God, yes. But to the end of the day, it is all going to perish, Bishop, because you cannot take it with you where you will go. What, how you live your life here will determine, my God, where you will spend your eternity. Tonight. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Praise amen, the name of the amen. Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise you know, Lord. praise the name of the Lord. My God, Pastor Michelle, open up um, a door a door there that praise the name of the Lord that wants me to, to even go deeper, you know, um, but time will not allow us but you know praise the name of the lord you know in, in, in um um daniel spoke about praise the name of the lord about um this time and times and half a time yeah. but i want you to understand that john also saw it in the revelation amen so we want to look at revelations praise. chapter 11 verses 2 to 3 amen so revelations chapter 11 verses Verses um, two, two to three. three yeah. um, I hope that you are, uh, have your Bibles. I hope that you're following with your Bibles. Remember, we are in Bible studies. We are in church. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. You are in church. Praise the name of the Lord. I say you are in church. Praise the name of the Lord. So let us um, turn your Bibles to Revelation chapter 11, verses 2 and 3. Revelation 11, amen, verses amen. 2 and 3. Praise the name of the Lord. Revelation chapter 11, verses 2 and 3. Praise the name of the Lord. You, you have it, say amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Right where you are, say amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. We are reading verses 2 and 3. But the court which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not. For it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread under foot. Forty and two months. Forty and two months. Amen. And the forty and two months there, if you look at forty and two months, forty and two months will give you three years and a half. Come on, I want you to do your calculation. Forty and two months will give you three years and a half. And verse 3, and I will give power unto, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand, and I want you to look at that, praise the name of the Lord. I will give power to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy a thousand two hundred and three scores days i want you to i want you to take note of that yes. a thousand two hundred and three scores days clothed in sackcloth yes clothed in sackcloth so the two witnesses which god is going to send in that time to deliver israel and to bring israel to bring the heart of the people back to god to bring the heart of Israel back to God because remember we the Gentiles most of us have accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I'm talking about the church here now yes. the church praise the name of the Lord we have accepted we are the Gentile church we have accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ with those Jews who also accepted Jesus Christ amen, yes, amen. but a lot of Jews have not accepted him they went as far as crucifying him they went as far as crucifying him and they crucified him because they don't believe that he is the son of God. Amen. They don't believe or they did not believe that he is the Messiah. Praise amen, the name of the Lord. Amen, amen. But um, praise the, when you read the scripture, what, what, what John saw you, he said, and, uh, praise the name, and, and, uh, what John is saying in the book of Revelation, and I will give power, praise the name of the Lord, to... To, and I will give power, and God is speaking here, praise me, because God is saying, I will give power to my two witnesses, yes. to my two witnesses, yes. and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three scores days, which is three years and a half, if you multiply three years and a half, 
clothed in sackcloth. And we are talking about yeah, the two witnesses, praise the name of the Lord, yes. that God is going to send, praise the name of the Lord. They are two men, not covenant or, or dispensation. They are Christ's witnesses, as you see, praise the name of the Lord. We read there, they will be, they will be given power in the, the future when they come to earth, praise the name of the Lord. And um, this does not require them to be men who have already um, exercised this power, but praise the name of the Lord. We know who are those two men when we discuss the two witnesses, that is another topic by itself. itself. They will be prophets. Praise the name of the Lord because they are prophesying. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, they will prophesy the last 42 months, which is the last 42 months. Praise the name of the Lord, which is 100, 1,260 days, which represent three and a half years of this age. Praise the name of the Lord. I hope that you are taking note. I hope I'm not running too fast, but I'm just giving you a little synopsis on the, what was just being read. Praise the name of the Lord. They are symbolized by two olive tree and the two um, candlestick, which um, in the Bible, when we are discussing the two witnesses, we'll discuss that before God. They were already in heaven when um, Zechariah prophesied um, about 50 uh, or 500 years before the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. They were already in heaven. So all that we will talk, we can talk about, but we will go over that maybe another another day. Praise the name of the Lord. John yes. saw them in heaven about um, 96 80 or 96 um, years after Christ's death. Um, so whosoever they are, they are two men translated to reside in heaven at least 50 years before Christ. Sorry, at least five, I'm saying 50, at least 500 years before Christ, they would have been translated and living in heaven 500 years before Christ came to the earth in flesh. Praise the name of the Lord. We will want to discuss all of that at another time and we can go on and on and on and on and on. But praise the name of the Lord. But all of these things we will discuss when we are discussing the two witnesses. Praise yeah. the name of the Lord. And we will give you sufficient evidence from the word of God to support what we are teaching you. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So Pastor Michel, I know that our time is rolling, so we want to finish off this part, just this part. Wanna, so we praise the Lord. We so we want to give us another scripture. We want to look at Daniel chapter 12 and verses 5. So we are looking at Daniel chapter 12 and verses 5. And we are still 14. And verses 14. Yeah. Daniel chapter 12, sorry. Um, Revelation, not um, Sorry, Revelation, yes. Revelation. <laughs> I am still in the book of Daniel. Revelation chapter 12 and verses um, 5 and 14. Now, I want you to note behind the book of Revelation chapter 12, verses 5 and 14. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are still looking at the dividing into two parts of three and one half years. Praise the name of the Lord of those that last or those last years of Amen. Daniel's seventieth week. Praise the name of the Lord. So yes. look at me and look at with us in Revelation chapter twelve and verses five. We read that first, and then we look at fourteen. So you can keep your um, close. I hope that you have your Bibles. I'll keep saying that. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Remember that whatever we teach is not from our book but from the Bible. Amen. So Amen. you need to have a Bible. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are reading. Um, Daniel chapter, sorry, Revelation chapter 12 and verses 5. And the Bible reads, And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And a child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Amen. But we want to look at 14. We need that can only be concluded if you read verses 14. Amen. So we are jumping a bit and we're going to 14. Amen. So we because we want to point out to you, praise the name of the Lord, what period of time that is going to happen. Yes. So look at, at, at 14. Look at verses 14. Praise the name of the Lord. Look at verses 14. Praise the name of the Lord. Verses 14. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness unto a place where she is nourished, where she is nourished for a time. And we want you to look at that. That is the yes. point we want you to look at there. She will be nourished for how long? A time. For a time, one year and 
times two years and half a time, half of a year from the face of the serpent. Yes. From the face of the serpent. Praise the name of the Lord. So one of these days we will go to or to go to Revelation. We have to study the sun clothed woman. And we must study the sun clothed woman. When we go to to study the sun clothed woman, we will be able to give you more explanation on who is that woman that will have to flee to the wilderness and she will be nourished there or taken care of for time which is one year times two years and half of a time which is half of a year praise the name of the lord Amen. so praise the lord you so, want to look at revelation chapter 13 verses 5. look at revelation chapter 13 and verses 5. revelation 13 and verses 5. praise the name of the lord revelation chapter 13 and verses 5. praise the name of the lord i'm saying again i hope you have your bibles with you praise the name of the lord Hope you have your Bibles. You're studying from the Bibles. If you're following us also on the um, on the Facebook, make sure that you have your Bibles with you. We are teaching from the Holy Bible. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are reading Revelation 13 and verses 5. Revelation 13 and verses 5. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue for how long? Forty and two months. To continue for how long? Forty and two months. <laughs> now, if you if you divide forty, if you divide forty and two months, if you um, multiply forty and two months, you will realize that it will give you forty and two months. If you multiply forty and two months, it will give you three years and a half. So those of you who have your calculators, if you multiply 40 and 2 months, it will give you 3 years and a half. So what the Bible is saying here, it is that this person, there was given unto him, there was given unto this beast, this beast, um, who will be able, who will be making war yes. against the saints. Amen. They were given to him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. This man will have all, he will have the seat of Satan. Yes. He will have the power of Satan. Amen. Amen. He will have the authority of Satan. Yep. And this is the reason why he's being called the anti to Christ. Yep. He will be an anti Christ. Amen. And the power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months. I want you to tie that in to Daniel's 70th week. Amen. That is the last years, that is the last seven years of the last seven years of the present age that we are living in. Amen. Amen. And as I said to you, praise the name of the Lord, and it's important um, that you take note of that. Um, those seven years are divided into two. First three and a half years in theology, in eschatology, it is uh, uh, it represents the wrath of the Antichrist, and the second three and a half years in eschatology, it represents the wrath of God that Amen. will be poured upon this earth. You don't want to be here for that. Amen. You don't want to be here for the wrath of the Antichrist. You don't want to be here for the wrath of God. You don't want to be here. Amen. So you know what? We ought to live for Jesus yes. and make sure that we are ready or that we be ready to be taken out of this place before those last seven years. We will talk about those last seven years even deeper. But Pastor Michel, Amen. praise the name of the Lord. I know you want to close up this path. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So go ahead. The whole period of 77 is 490 years, which are determined or marked off apart from all other years and concern only thy people Israel and thy holy city Jerusalem, for which Daniel was praying. Six events are to take place during these 490 years relative to Israel and Jerusalem for six purposes. So we want to just look at Daniel chapter 6, verses 10. Yeah, no, no, it's important for you to note as we, uh, I know we started a few minutes, but it's important that you, uh, as Pastor Michel, get ready to wrap up this part. I want you to make sure that you understand what you said just yes. now. And I hope that you're taking copious note 
of what Ambassador Michelle just said to you a while ago. Praise the name of the Lord. She said that the whole period of the seventh of the seventy years, it is four hundred and ninety years. It is four hundred and ninety years which are determined or marked or marked off out of all the years of mankind. These years are marked off. Yes. God have set mark on these years mm -hmm. of of a specific events that will take place. Amen. She, she said it's marked off apart from all other years and it concerned thy people. You will see Daniel speak about thy people, Israel and the holy city Jerusalem for which Daniel would have been praying. Look at Daniel, look at Daniel. Bishop, praise. even even um, it is important for you to take note of this as well. My God, after the rapture of the church, my God, the, the focus will be on the covenant, the people of covenant, my God, which is Israel, the children of Israel. Amen, amen. Because of the promise that he made to Father Abraham. Amen. Right? So God is a keeper of covenant tonight. Praise the name of Amen. the Lord. Amen. So this is a period of the Gentile, and we will talk more about that, my God, probably in our next session. Uh, uh, right? Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. So, but to the end of the day, it's something that you need to put a marker on. After the church has been raptured, it is noted as a time of the Gentile. That has been closed off, Amen. my God. And Amen. God's focus, his primary focus, will be his people, my God, the nation of Israel. Amen. 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 Because you see, you, 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 we have to understand, you, you, we have to understand that um, all the Israel, all the Israel, listen to me, if you, if you put together, if you put together all Israel disobedient and sin, in material form, if you put it right. in material form, yeah. it cannot hold. We, we, the world don't have space for it. No, because Israel, Israel, um, sin against God. Israel, they, 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 they crucify the Messiah. Israel, up to this day, Israel is living in slumber. She is still asleep, mm -hmm. right? But, but we now is the time of the Gentiles. Yes. And now is our time to make the best of this time. Amen. We ought to make the best of this time and make sure that we um, benefit from this time mm -hmm. because we were grafted in as a result of Israel failure. Yes. Amen. And when I say I'm grafted, you know, I want you to understand it was always God so loved the world. Intention. And God, uh, God's intention was always to save the world. Amen. But it was Israel was supposed to be the ministers to, to, to evangelize and to minister to the world so that we will come. But yes. it, it turned around because the, Jesus came to his own own which was have been the israel which was because remember he born a jew yes so he came to his own because he was born a jew mm. and his own received him not My and God. the bible teaches as much as received jesus to them he gave the power now to become the sons of god amen. and that is how we are grafted in amen, amen. so we amen. now are the sons of the living god yes, amen yes and amen. we have a, a, an opportunity here now to make sure that we that we do it right amen. that we make sure that we we get it right so that we will leave this space with the lord and savior jesus christ when he comes praise amen, the lord amen. so pastor michelle said a while ago and it's so it's so profound it is important to note it is important to note that and um, this year it is he will be dealing with his people israel and and and, and we and and, and 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 the term of being used praise the name of the lord and um, determine and mark off and that sort of thing pastor michelle said that just now she also sent you to daniel chapter 6, six. and this is 10 our last chapter for tonight yes and we will give you a reading to do we will want you to do um a reading mm -hmm. um we will want you to do a reading we'll give you daniel chapter 9 verses 1 to 23 yes we will want you to read that we want you to read that and and that will open your understanding a lot to Daniel's um, vision. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. That is Daniel chapter 9, verses 1 and 22. Mm -hmm. But look at me in Daniel 6 and verse 10. Um, look at me in Daniel chapter 6 and verses 10. Praise the name of the Lord. We are reading um, Daniel chapter 6 and verses 10. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his windows being opened, in his chamber towards Jerusalem. Yes. Towards Jerusalem. So it was all about Jerusalem. Amen. Yes, yes. 
he kneeled before his he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God and as he did as he did a four time. A time. Yeah. So Daniel, Daniel, Daniel was praying for Jerusalem. Yes. Daniel was praying for Israel. Daniel was praying for the people of God. I so know. the whole vision here. Uh, in Daniel's 70th week, it is in relation to um, Israel. And, and uh, Pastor Michelle, I, I want to repeat what you said there. Uh, uh, be, praise yeah. the name well, God. I want to interject here a bit because I want to show you the power of prayer. Now, Bishop, this would have done been done thousands of years ago in Daniel's time. Amen. And even we touched on scripture earlier where Daniel said that through the books, and through the revelation, my God, of, of the knowledge of scriptures, he was able to understand that which was being interpreted or being laid before him. And he was able, my God, to intercede at that particular point in time Amen. concerning the last three and a half years or seven years, sorry, my God, concerning the nation of Israel. Isn't that powerful? Amen. So Amen. my God, it just goes to show, my God, that your prayers, my God, it is laid up in eternity. My God, when Amen. you learn how to pray within the purpose of God, praise the name of the Lord. My God, God is going to move. My God, he's going to do mighty things tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. So my God, that is powerful tonight. Praise Amen. the name Amen. of the Lord. Amen. Knowing that Daniel prayed thousands of years ago concerning my God, the state of the, the nation of Israel, Amen. my God, in the last seven years of this 490 years. That's powerful tonight. My Amen. God, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know, I, I love that, Pastor Michel. Yeah. I love that. You know, I love that. You know, I'm the power of prayer. Yes. A power yes. of prayer. And um, and you, you know, um, um, it, it, mud and rust cannot corrupt that. No. You know, it is it, 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 it is your, your petition. Yes. When you petition God. And you know, you our know, prayers goes up, up as in incense. Amen. Amen. It goes up as incense before in the nostrils of God. It is there. My God, some of us, my God, we are serving God because of our grandmother and great-grandmother's prayers. My God, our great-grandfathers, our aunts, our great aunts and uncles, they have prayed, my God, for the generations to come. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So my God, there is power in prayer tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the, you, know, you know, Pastor Michel, as you say that, mm -hmm. you know, and even what you said was so instrumental or, or so profound. You know, if, 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 um, believers, if you go back to that scripture that we read just now, um, that you read just now, that is Daniel chapter 6 and verses 10. If you look at the first part of that scripture, it says, and when Daniel knew that the writing was signed. Yes. You know what that mean? That means this shows that the boldness and faith of Daniel. Yeah. It shows the boldness and faith of Daniel. You know, um, um, it, 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 Daniel believed that 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 Daniel Daniel believed that he had already received answer to prayer. Amen. Yes, yes. That his prayer was already answered. Amen. Amen. And uh, praise the name of the Lord. And this is what Pastor Michelle is talking about. It. When you go to God believing, I want you to know. Praise the name of the Lord. God cannot fail faith. No. The Bible teaches without it, it is impossible to please him. Amen. Yes. But when you have faith in God, when you believe in God, it must come to pass. Amen. It must, yes. He cannot fail your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Your faith in God, it will come to pass. Amen. Yes. Your prayer, believe in God and know in hallelujah that God, your God is able to bring it to pass. Thank he will bring it to pass. They Jesus. who know that God shall be strong yes. and they shall do great exploits. They know him even my God. They, even though they cannot see him with yes. their literal eyes, Amen. they know that he exists. Amen. They believe that he will come true for them. Mm. They believe that he will make it happen. Yeah. They believe that there is nothing impossible with him. Hallelujah. Yes, amen, amen, they who amen. know that God shall be strong. Hallelujah. Amen, and do exploits. Amen, Father, amen, we give you amen, praise. Amen. Oh, Yakara. Amen. <laughs> amen. amen. Hallelujah. Not my God. God. You know, and I'm coming out to say that obstacles don't mean, my God, denial tonight. Obstacles, hindrances, don't mean denial tonight. Amen. My God, what God wants you to do is press through, break through in prayer tonight. My God, that demon, that strong man that has been confronting you, 
He has been blocking you. My God, from moving. My God, forward tonight. God is saying, my God, you have power. My God, to speak to your mountains tonight. My God, to slay your giants tonight. Amen. My God, and that Amen. is true. My God, the power of prayer. Oh, Pray hallelujah. Words tonight. Oh, Amen. yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So tonight, believers, my Praise God, we have Lord. come to tonight's, we have concluded tonight's session. My God, we pray, God, that you have enjoyed the session you have received from it tonight. Now, believers, it is important, my God, even as you are studying Bible prophecies, that you pay attention to what is taking place in the world. Israel, my God, is our time clock tonight. Amen. We Amen. know this. Amen. My God, this month, on the 15th of this month, my God, Bishop, there is scattered. My God, the world would see again another blood moon. Yeah. My God, the last um, sequel of blood moons that we had, my God, look at what took place, what hit the world. My God, you realize that the world, my God, is experiencing bird pangs like never before. My God, it is not normal times. My God, it is exciting times, yes. But it is times, my God, for the believers, my God, to wake out of slumber amen, as well. Amen. Because we realize to ourselves that the Messiah, my God, he will put in his appearance at any given second any now. Given my God, you would realize that Israel, my God, we know that the rebuilding of the third temple, my God, it must happen. My Praise God, and for Lord. those of you who are my friends on Facebook, you would see at times I will be posting articles in relation to that rebuilding of the third temple. You would realize my God, even before the, the COVID-19 pandemic has hit the world, my God, you would realize that, my God, the Temple Institute, my God, they seek out, my God, the lineage of Le the, the Levites, my God, and they have been training these priests, my God, to practice the same, my God, rituals as they would have, my God, in the temples before. My God, on this last Passover here, you would realize, my God, that they did do my god passover sacrifice with the lamb my god and we know that jesus christ is our sacrificial lamb Amen. praise the name of the lord but what does it points to it points that to my god that the messiah my god can put in his appearance at, at any, any time, given at any time, time any because given my god time. if you understand bible prophecy you would know that that temple must be built must tonight be built. my Amen. god and there are talks and there are already my god provision where that is concerned to begin my god the the the, the building the rebuilding of that third temple my god they have already gathered their instruments uh bishop my god the very dyes that they used to use concerning my god the very sacred garments and stuff like that they have already located these things my god so believers look up our redemption, redemption joy night tonight Praise amen the Lord. Bless the, Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. So tonight we want to give you a, an assignment tonight and the assignment. I know our time. Praise the name of the Lord. Our hour is up. So we want to give you an assignment. Praise the name of the Lord. And we want to give that assignment before we stop streaming. We are about to stop streaming. But we uh, want to give you an assignment for those who are streaming, those who are not in the Zoom room, and you are, in, um, those who are internationally um, following us in our studies we want you to um read daniel chapter 9 verses 1 to 23 praise them and spend some time in reading and rightly um uh, understand what you're reading praise the name of the lord which um when we continue this discussion on daniel's 70th week um your understanding will be even open up um more so praise the name of the lord now tonight we can go into questions and answers and that sort of thing but um our time is fast spent so we want to um stop streaming a bit praise the name of the lord